Hi, this is Bonnie, and I'm recording this from the studio at Aldelore Insight Center. One of the things I wanted to do with these short videos is respond to questions that some of you have given me and really make it pertinent to what you're thinking and what your concerns are as young people facing your future. And so uh, the daughter of a friend of mine, Christina Bradley, wrote in to me yesterday and asked this question. She says, what comes to me as I look into the future is the question of how will I listen deeply and stay true to myself? This has to do mostly with what career path I choose to follow and what types of people I choose to surround myself with. I am really trying to listen to myself and find where I am stuck and where I am open. And I hope to continue this practice into the future. As I look into the future, I see many new experiences and opportunities, and I wonder how successful I will be listening to myself and what I want out of life. <clears throat> so this is already a rich and genuine question, um, and there's a lot of gems in it. But one of the things that we can do is work on making these types of questions more generative. And what I mean by that is, how can we work the question so that it actually starts to answer or lean into its own possibilities? And if we were actually in conversation, this would be a more generative conversation. And I would say something and there'd be some feedback, but we're working with these digital snapshots where the question gets in one silo and then the answer becomes an artifact. So we're just going to um, play with this uh, question and see where we can take it. First of all, I, I'm sure you know, but it's very important to remember that a life is unknown and only revealed through the process of living it over the entire lifetime. So when you ask the question, stay true to myself, be careful that you're not making the mistake of thinking that that's something static, that yourself is something formed or fixed at any one point in time that has to remain as it is. And in fact, life is a generative unfolding of not only your circumstances, but what that core truly is. It, it's, it's latent in you. It's still a seed of wisdom, let's say. And you want to be able to let life shape that as you're shaping the circumstances of your life. So yes, we want to have a sense of being <clears throat> whole and congruent and authentic. But that sense of being whole and congruent and authentic is a process of opening to wider and wider possibilities, opening to new ways of being, opening to <clears throat> new friendships, and sometimes moving through old friendships, going where the enthusiasm takes us, being able to identify where our energy wants to go and why it wants to go there, to understand that our purpose in life is always shaping itself by our relationships, as I think you, you wrote, but not only by our friendships. And oftentimes, the most important or significant relationships that we'll have are people who never actually become our friends. They may be our bosses, they may be our coworkers, they may be people that um, we spend time with in collective situation, but we never really got along with. And these are fabulous opportunities to assimilate aspects of the human condition that don't fit well with you. But if you allow that in and you allow that to shape yourself and for the wisdom to grow from that, then your life will be much more open and much more rich. So in this process, then what do we trust? You know, we talk about at all the lore clarity of purpose. So what is clarity of purpose if it's not a static thing? So we associate clarity of purpose with insight and intuition and imagination. 
So you use your intuition, which is an embodied sense, a felt sense that you, you call it listening to yourself, which is a great phrase for it, to listen to yourself, to listen to that which is moving and that which is stagnant and that which wants to move and that which feels contained or constrained and to keep opening that and, and acknowledging that it's a process, an ongoing process. It's something that is alive and wants to change and wants to grow and wants to generate and wants to ripen. So this is the embodied intuition. Enthusiasm and inspiration and your imagination is a huge part of being clear about your purpose. Because if you don't imagine with enthusiasm or take in inspiration wherever it shows up and allow that to shape your imagination of who you can be or what you what is possible then you're not going to be able to feed sufficiently nurture that energy that wants to open and blossom and become more so the imagination is a crucial partner to the intuition and insight and then the third aspect is the insight itself and the insight is a process of being able to lean into the unknown so that you have this intuition that you need to move that something wants to move and you're doing an insight process or insight practice of using your imagination and 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 trying to understand what is limiting in your way of being that needs to be changed that needs to open up and then you use the insight practice to lean into the unknown and stay open to the energy and the enthusiasm without this knowing of the final goal and so what happens is you can use the energy the enthusiasm in a practice of insight which will reveal the next elegant step so that for example I often know that what I'm doing is really right that this decision I've made to do this is really right but I also know that it's not what I'm going to be doing for a very long time and if life is a process of generative unfolding over a lifetime it's also a non-linear process so you can't get from here to there in a straight line it's very non-linear and so you can be sure that this step for now fits that it's right for you but it's only a piece of the puzzle a puzzle that will never be known because it's always in an unfolding process and so that's a little way to um, work with your question and opening it up to the possibilities that it seeks so thank you for the question and thank you for watching <laughs>